Good morning, friends and family. As we come to Thursday morning, some thoughts. We're going to turn to the 31st Psalm. I'm going to try to cover the whole psalm today. I know it's a long psalm, but the thought here is, let me not be ashamed. Here we find the psalmist engaging in prayer before the Lord. He pours out his heart. It becomes clear to me that he's going through a very difficult time in his life. So his prayer to the Lord in verse 1 and in verse 17 is for the Lord not to fail him. His desire is to be vindicated in the presence of his enemies, a common theme that we've seen throughout the Psalms that we have looked at over the last several weeks. And as I read these words, I really see them as more as a plea for help, but I also see that he's making a statement of faith, which is what you and I need to do. The psalmist here, David, writes of several areas in his spiritual life that I think you and I can consider and look at to help our lives be stronger in our faith towards God. His desire is for help from God. And what my desire is this morning is to show you some of the areas that he mentions in his life in which you and I should never be ashamed. And I'm going to go very quickly with these and the beauty of doing these recorded is you can stop and look the verses up as we go. But I want to make reference to several different things that we should not be ashamed of. Number one, we should never be ashamed to possess Him. In verse 3, the first part of the verse, verse 5, verse 14, the second part of the verse, in verse 16, He speaks out and He says that He is my God. And that is not a sign of weakness to express a need for God. The, the, this idea that he is my God makes it a personal thing that we know that we have confidence that we can reach out to God and not be ashamed to call for help. You see, because God is our source of strength. He is our source of comfort. He is our source of security. He is our source of refuge and so many other things that Scripture reveals to us. But secondly, verse 1 and verse 14 the psalmist says that he should not be that we should not be ashamed to profess him, and there it is. If we're going to possess him, if we're going to be part of his family, if we're going to allow Christ to dwell and live with in us, we need to be able to profess that to others. We need to not be ashamed of people knowing that we're a Christian. We ought to wear the badge of a Christian as an honor, as a privilege, as something that we would be proud of. Uh, in, in our life to know that the world knows that we're different, that we are truly children of God. We should hold our head pr high and proudly tell the world that Jesus is ours, that he is our everything as we sing in the song, He is my everything. But number three, we need not to be ashamed to pray to him. Verse 2, verse 17, and also in verse 22, prayer is not a sign of weakness, but prayer is a demonstration of power. You see, the real weakling is the person who thinks that he can handle it himself. Nothing in life can I handle by myself. I always need someone to help me. I always need someone to be there for me, to encourage me, to do the other things. And there's no greater source of, of strength and of comfort and of encouragement than looking into the Word of God and saying that God is there helping us and trying to get us to understand we have a reliance on Him. You see, prayer is the Christian's greatest resource. For you and I to be able to go and approach our God in heaven, throwing on Him all of our cares and all of our desires and all of the things that, that we need to pray to Him for, being thankful for what He has done for us. Remember, Jesus promised that He would hear us, that He would help us, in numerous passages throughout the book of John and 1 John, we see this theme. Jesus is there. He wants us to come through him to the Father. He wants us to express our wants, our desires, our needs, our thankfulness. Prayer is powerful. And I know that many of our congregation here at South Jackson, I don't have to say and get them to understand the power of prayer. We've seen the power of prayer at work in the lives of our own members. And I'm thankful that God has shown us that he answers our prayers. But let us not be ashamed to pray for him. And we can pray for him at any time that we desire. We can pray when times are tough. We need to pray when times are tough. We need to pray when times are going great. 
We can pray no matter what we're doing. We can always stop and say a prayer. But number four, we need to praise him. Let us not be ashamed to praise him. Verse 4, verse 7, and in verse 21. You know, we have so much to praise him for. I know immediately our thoughts go that we ought to praise him for salvation. We ought to praise him for sending his son to save us from our sin. We ought to praise him because of the glory of heaven that he has prepared for us. We ought to be in prayer and praise him for giving us the Holy Spirit through which the word comes, which we can see what we can be thankful for. And I could go on and on and on about things that we have that we need to praise him for. But don't forget to praise him for the very menial things that we take for granted. The ability that we have to draw breath, the ability of the seasons to change, the rain that comes. Yes, we've had a lot of rain here in West Tennessee. And oftentimes we think, when is it going to be enough? And we make jokes about it. But that is God replenishing his creation when he does that. You see, you and I, we know that we are commanded to praise him. And I don't have time this morning to go through all the passages in Scripture where it tells us that we ought to praise him. Just read the entire book of Psalms, all 150 of them, and you will see the idea that God deserves this praise. It is our duty to praise God, and we ought to do it every single day as we live life. It is our duty not to be ashamed to praise Him. And then number five, we ought to not be ashamed to present ourselves to Him. You know, you and I, before we understood and before we became a Christian, before we were baptized into Christ for the remission of our sins, we were not worthy to enter into His presence. But because of the blood of Christ, I am made worthy. I need to present myself to him in the now, in today's time. I need to show him that I am living for him in my service. Romans chapter 12 deals with this subject, that we ought to give our lives as a living sacrifice to him. But not only do it now, but if I do present myself to him now in this day, then I know that I will be able to present myself to him when it comes time in the day of judgment because I will be unashamed. I will not be ashamed of how I've lived my life. I will know for a fact that I have lived a life that has been pleasing to God because of what Jesus did for me. He gives us the hope of eternal life with him and with the Father. We need to be able to present ourselves worthy before him at that time. And then lastly, in verse 23 and verse 24, we need to prescribe him. We need to be understanding that he is the cure for the disease that we have all faced, and that is the disease of sin. The power of the gospel is the healing medicine that our world needs to see and our world needs to know. It is the cure for every sin-sick soul. And in order for us to prescribe him, our responsibility is great that we must tell others about him. We must show them who we are and what he is to us. Never, ever be ashamed to tell the story of Jesus to others. We sing a song oftentimes, Tell me the story of Jesus write on my heart every word and we have those words written in our heart and then we can do the other song that says i love to tell the story i love to tell the story of jesus you see this pandemic this coronavirus and i'm thankful i have seen so many people using technology day by day to share the message of Jesus Christ. So as we close this morning, never be ashamed of anything that has to do with the Lord. Never be ashamed to say that you're part of His glorious church because I guarantee you that He will not be ashamed of you if you are not ashamed of Him. Hope you have a blessed Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow morning with more thoughts from the book of Psalms.